Now, we know coronavirus is wrecking uh, havoc to our economy and lots of people are losing their jobs. Day in and day out, employers are having to let go of workers, not because they really want them to go, but because they need to keep afloat and that can be you know, very difficult for many uh, people. And we want to share with you the story of a lady whose coronavirus happened years ago. She lost her job uh, during the banking sector cleanup in 2016. We just wanted to share her story with you and also if you've lost your job, how she was able to turn around her situation in the midst of all that. Grace Kwashi is now an author and an entrepreneur by chance. Good morning. Hi, good morning. And welcome now. to Tea with Rain New Thank day. you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> happy birthday to you, by the way. Thank you, Elton. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's a blessing to be here this morning. It's a blessing to be alive, to mm -hmm. give hope to someone. Share with us your story. In 2016, you were working in the bank. Yes. What were you doing by then? Yeah, I was working as an um, administrative officer, yes, in one of the premium banks. And... As you rightly said, 2016, a lot of things happened in the banking sector. Uh, some of the bank, because of recapitalization and all that. So my bank, very good bank, they took a decision to restructure themselves. Mm -hmm. And some staff were laid off, like 200 plus people were laid off. Mm. And I was one of them. Mm. <laughs> and how did, how, did, how did this happen to you? Like, how, how did you manage it? I'm sure the shock alone. Yeah, when you were so, told to go yeah so because we were aware of what was happening in the banking sector that mm -hmm. um, because of the restructuring, some, some banks took advantage of it to try to restructure and all that. So we had, but you don't know if you are the one going home mm -hmm. or not mm -hmm. until the full list came out and then I was part of it. So in fact, and the day I was called to come for my letter to go home and my redundancy package, it was like I was dreaming. And I was just waiting for somebody to wake me up. And so it was just a nightmare. Just go back to work. Because but you had planned with your income. Oh, yes. You had plans for, you had yes, projected that yes. maybe. I was very comfortable as, my, as a banker. I was a permanent staff. I had my car and all that. So life was so cozy and easy for me. Mm -hmm. you know. And I didn't really perceive into the future that something like this could happen. Mm -hmm. So I was called, I went for my letter, and that was the end of my banking career, eight years. So take us from there. So what happened when you were giving your letter? You went home. How did your yeah. husband take it, by the yeah, way? So do you have a family? Yes, I, I do. So I remember when I, I, I got down from the stairs to my office, I was feeling a little bit dizzy. Oh my so God. I had to sit down and breathe over it and all that and i called my husband he was the first person i called mm. and he in fact he was aware that a proceeding would be going on that day so when i called him he said okay so what happened i said well <laughs> i have in my hands my redundancy letter mm. so i'm coming home he said okay no problem are you coming home now or you want to i said no, I, I was doing some things when i was called so i want to close the day Finish on a good note and say goodbye. Mm. So he said, okay, don't worry. Just close and everything and then come home. So mm. he encouraged me, I should just think I should be cool and come. Everything will be okay. Mm. So that was it. I closed around 5.30 a.m. I said goodbye to my friends and that was it. <laughs> that was it for That you. was it. You know, I, I remember when I was going out of the office premises, I just looked at the building and I'm like, wow. Mm. And it's been three and a half years. I've not been able to go there again. Back there again. That is it. Tell me, so how did you pick yourself up? Yeah, so when I, when I got home, the, the, the disappointment, in fact, I, I became very weak. I couldn't even eat. I felt sick. I lost weight because there were so many things going on in my mind. Mm -hmm. What are people going to say? Mm. You lost your job. Um, your, your lifestyle is going to change now. The most important thing is that you've lost an income. Hmm. And that was my, my salary. My husband and I were using my salary as our building projects. Hmm. So it means You're that using your salary as your building project. Building projects. And, and you lost that now. Yes, and the, all the allowances I was getting and all that. So we're planning our building. So hmm. <laughs> only for this to happen. So I, that was it. We, we had to halt the building and all that. So I, I just went through the pain. In fact... And I always encourage people that cry, whatever you want to do. So I cried, I, I, I lost weight, I felt sick and all that. But in the midst of it all, I remember the next day, I couldn't sleep the whole of the night. Mm. I, as I said, I, I, it was like a dream. 
And now so many thoughts were going on in my mind. So how am I going to survive? That was the question. How am I going to survive? So the next day, I, I remember I took my phone and I called my pastor and Reverend uh, Pastor Andy Yossin. And I, I told him because of the relationship I have with him and the wife. And I told him that this is what has happened to me. Because he needs to know. He knew I was working in a bank. And I told him I was not the only one. I went mm -hmm. home with some 200 people mm -hmm. and this and that and all. And I said, okay, no problem. Okay. I was very discouraged at that moment. Yeah, so did you have maybe some savings to start a business? We, yeah, so we what, what happened from. was that I had mm -hmm. a full redundancy package, which I really want to and applaud my bank for, they okay. did so well. I mean, they, they gave us, everybody had their redundancy package. Okay. So I had uh, like almost three and a half years package okay. and some other benefit that came along with it. So that so. money I had, but you know, it, it, it wasn't something that you can say that you are, you are going to rely on it for the rest of your life. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I had something on me. So what, what were the ventures, what were the businesses you had to invest in? Yes, yeah, so the first thing I did was, um, I, I was going to say this, you have to research and do a soul searching for yourself. Okay, what, what do you, you want what to you, do? What you can do. Yes, because sometimes mm -hmm. people think that, okay, let me go back to work again. Mm -hmm. I want to go and work again. But I, deep down in my heart, I knew I was for entrepreneurship and okay. I wasn't ready to go back and work again. The desire of job mm -hmm. left my heart. Okay. So I was so determined to start something on myself. So mm -hmm. the first thing I did was, I said, okay, I, I have some flair for baking. Okay. So I went to a baking school, I paid some money, I got my equipment and everything. I was so excited that at least I've gotten something to do. So I went through the course, I finished, I got my certificate and I started baking the house. Mm -hmm. So I had friends and family who were patronizing, okay. small, small, and all that. Okay. And that kept me going. Go that is one of the things I'll say. Don't just sit in the house mm -hmm. and say that, okay, I've lost my job. That's the end of it. And you are waiting for pity party around you. Mm -hmm. Quickly get yourself Nobody up. cares about your pity party. No, <laughs> no, no. You know, you know what, Etonam? Mm -hmm. If I, when I lost my job, mm -hmm. apart from my husband, my pastor, and some few uh, close friends of mine, mm -hmm. people didn't know that. I lost a job. Okay. In fact, some people will be shocked because it's today that they will know that I lost my job three and a half years ago. I you, didn't. You I need didn't. to put it together. Yes. Okay. So apart from the baking, what else did you go into? Yes. Yeah, so apart from the baking, I went. Then after that, I, I the baking, the interest came down. Okay. I wasn't really because when I wake up in the morning, it I takes a lot of work. Yes, <laughs> take a lot of work. I will bake, sit down, and then you design, and and somebody will just come and cake, take the cake and so oh, this one is not too, it's it's too expensive and all that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I just had to pause on it and mm -hmm. some health issues and all that. So okay. I paused on it and I was like, okay, now what, what next? What next? So the, the soul searching again in me, I was looking for something that can relate with my skills, who okay. I am, okay. my flair, okay. my charisma. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I know I love people. I know I love to help people, but how? Mm -hmm. So it was then uh, I, I went to visit my husband in Togo. He's a pastor in Togo. Mm -hmm. And then after church service, a lady approached me mm -hmm. and she introduced a wonderful opportunity to me. And that was, that was it. What was the opportunity? Now, this Share opportunity was a network marketing oh, business. Oh, network marketing. Yes, okay. network marketing business. Mm -hmm. Now, in fact, when she presented the opportunity to me, mm -hmm. it wasn't something I was interested in okay. because I, of what I've heard and all that. But there was something deep down in me telling me that try this thing. And I, I believe see. that it was the God I said okay. because he knew that it was through this platform. But there, that people, he was going but there to are people who, are, who have concerns with network marketing. Oh, yes, they I know. Yeah. Yeah. But it worked for you. It worked for you. I say, mm -hmm. I tell people that anytime, there are lots of network marketing okay. business. Let me give you three criteria okay. to look at when you want to go into network marketing. Number one, look at the company, mm -hmm. the foundation of the company. Are okay. they related to other organizations? Okay. Do they have a solid background? Okay. I mean, with certification and all that. Do you know the people? Okay. I have met the chairman of my, of my network marketing you business. You don't need to mention the name of I am not mentioning okay. the name. I took a picture with okay. him and all all that okay. now the other thing to look at the products mm -hmm. what the company is offering Selling, okay. is it something that you can easily tell people to to buy to okay. use is it something that people need mm -hmm. it's a necessity that they cannot do away with it okay. you have to find out and when you have such product it will be very easy okay. for you to sell and for people people need them and they'll get it what 
at the ingredients and all that they use to manufacture the product and everything. Mm -hmm. The third thing is that look at the compensation plan. How is the company going to reward you? And in fact, it was during this time that I noticed that this company is unique. Okay, so, so um, you are uh, asking that people maybe should look at a network marketing yeah. uh, as, a, as another... Um, as a platform of leverage okay. because... Okay, so, so, so for instance, people who have lost their jobs and maybe they were given just one month salary yeah okay so let's just say that maybe your monthly salary was one thousand mm -hmm. maybe one month and you got an additional one thousand so two thousand yeah what can i do with two thousand yeah now i i in, I, in I case use... maybe i didn't have any savings yeah, at all yeah yeah now what as a, from the beginning i was in fact i didn't spend like more than a thousand cities in my network marketing business okay just a small amount and then I started and I built the business. Mm -hmm. There is no short, shortcut. Mm -hmm. You have to start small and on then some. build on it. That's okay. how business is. Okay. So on through the network marketing uh, platform, mm -hmm. it's a lever it was a leverage for me. For you. I have been able to start other businesses. Okay. I, I ran an e-commerce business too as well. So you I ran a e training. What do you mean? E like um, shopping online okay. and all that. Yes. Okay. So you I have small, small businesses. People yes. can yes. just go there and click and say, I like this. You yes. Wait, you deliver. Yes. Okay. And then um, I run an affiliate marketing to business. So now. The what does that mean? Affiliate marketing. Simple. You just get a product and associate yourself with Anyone who buys the product, let them buy it through you, and the company will give you a commission. Okay, it's so for instance, very similar Coco Dairy. to network marketing. For instance, Coco Dairy. Yeah. And I want to buy Coco Dairy. Yeah. I'll go and buy it in bulk from yes. them and yes. say that come and buy from me. So I have a little commission on Coco Dairy. Okay. Is that how it works? No. Okay. It works in like this. If okay. you, you associate yourself with this brand, mm -hmm. you put the picture on your social Status. media okay. and all that mm -hmm. and then you tell them this thing is so nice mm -hmm. it's so good mm -hmm. why don't you try it mm -hmm. if you want to buy it kindly contact me or tell so so and so now the company knows that you are affiliated you're like them. a brand ambassador yes and you are mm -hmm. marketing their product mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you can and this things this thing is currently trending okay and anyone can do it okay. all you need to do is to maximize your social media platform mm -hmm. get a lot of followers go and look for companies and market their products for okay them. so i don't Simple. necessarily have to go and buy in bulk all mm -hmm. I have to do is advertise. Advertise and when for people them. order for it, I go and buy it, and then my commission the is on it. The people can get it directly, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they can get it through your link. Sometimes some of the company gives you mm -hmm. an affiliate link. Okay. So that anytime somebody is coming to buy, they know that it was through you that a person came to buy. Mm -hmm. So now back to your question. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you don't even need money to start a business. Really? Yes. Which business don't I need money? Oh, to start? there are lots of things. Tell affiliate me. marketing is one of them. Okay. Affiliate marketing is one of them. Okay. You have a social media page. Mm -hmm. You have an Instagram, a Facebook. Mm -hmm. If you have followers, let's say from thousand to two thousand, every time, don't put only your picture there. Go and get tell the company that I want to market this product for you. Mm -hmm. This is my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell the people that mm -hmm. if they want to buy and they are coming to buy, they should mention my name. Mm -hmm. Anytime somebody come and mention my name, I want to earn 10% from it. Mm -hmm. No company will refuse that. In fact, companies are looking for people to come and market their products for them. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you lost your job and you know you have marketing skills, you can go ahead and okay. try affiliate marketing mm -hmm. and also one of the things you can even use your skills what mm -hmm. are you good at mm -hmm. so the same thing you used to do whilst you're working for someone a colleague of mine she and i used to work in the bank we were all laid off together she went to work in another bank again she was laid off again mm. and she was going to work again i said no you're not going anywhere let me teach you how you can use what you know what we're doing at the bank i want to teach you how you can put it in the form of business as, okay. I, as i'm talking to you now mm. she has her own hr consultancy firm which is good this the same thing she was doing at the bank for so, other people for other people mm -hmm. so the, what your employer was paying you mm -hmm. at the bank you mm -hmm. can package it and now present it as a consultancy service mm -hmm. to them okay. now i'm Okay. So, so we are just about wrapping up the interview. We don't have a lot of time. Okay. But uh, I, I, there was a question I wanted to ask you. So uh, uh, for people, this, your experience, I'm mm -hmm. sure, has exposed you to a lot of uh, businesses so that you agree with people who say you don't need one source of income. Yes, very well. In you don't fact, need I one preach, source of income. Yes, you need yes. to get multiple sources of yes, income. Yes, yeah. I just wanted to wrap up on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So multiple sources of income is the best thing. In fact, when I was working, if somebody had told me to start a side business, I would have blessed that person. But I was so comfortable in the setting that I was in. So when I lost my job, that one income was gone. 
So I also work with aspiring entrepreneurs and nine to eight, five um, uh, people who are working, but they want to start a side business mm -hmm. aside because when the day of judgment comes, which <laughs> no one knows, and you are told to go home, mm -hmm. then you can now rely on side business. You can start a side business from your kitchen. Mm -hmm. There is a lady in Nigeria. She's called No Leftovers. She just started a momoy, a bean cake from her kitchen, mm -hmm. less than two, two, two dollars. And now this woman business is worth hundred thousand US dollars. Mm -hmm. She started no leftovers. No leftovers. You okay. can Google her. She started okay. from her kitchen. Mm -hmm. So sometimes all the business you can even start from your kitchen. One of mm -hmm. my colleagues, she's so good with jollof, mm -hmm. jollof and uh, food lofts, mm -hmm. jollof and goat's meat. She's very good. <laughs> and she started her business from the kitchen. She okay. likes food too a lot. Mm -hmm. So the things that you like, the things that you are passionate that about, that motivate you to start. Yes, something. you can Great start passion. a business. So you don't need money to start a business. I don't have a lot of time. I'm really enjoying. <laughs> during this uh, discussion with you, but unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time. Grace Kwashi is an entrepreneur and an author. Uh, she became an entrepreneur by chance when she lost her job uh, during the banking sector cleanup in 2016. Hope uh, what we've discussed here has uh, given you some ideas to start a business of your own and hope uh, that uh, the conversation has given you some motivation to start something on your own. Remember, she says... You always need multiple source of income because anything is possible. Happy birthday once more to Dr. Daniel McCauley, who's the CEO of McDan Group. And happy birthday to Sister Eunice Ifua Kansi of Christ Embassy Avenue. And that's from Nanikia uh, Amankwa of TV3. There's a lot more coming up on New Day. Don't go away.